and as long as people are are being loving and and children have a loving environment it doesn't matter how you do it amen right i i, I want to just talk about because i know that felicia especially you choose very um female driven projects and also clearly you met at the women's march so and just about i just want to talk a little bit about how important that is to both of you today, just supporting women, even just this friendship and how you met there, I think is amazing. We've had a friendship for years because we just support each other what, you know, in everything that we do, and I think it's so important in the time that we're living in. So can you talk a little bit about the importance of the women's movement right now? I mean, there's just so much opportunity out there, and there's so many talented people, and Alicia put together almost an entirely female crew. Yeah, we, we had female heads of every department. We had 7% female crew. The women made as much, if not more, than the men. Whoa! Um, <laughs> and, um, and I think it's one of the most powerful things you can do is actually create our, know, or create anything and hire women. Um, and in a great example is Zelmira Gainza, our GP, had never shot a feature because no one had given her the opportunity. Wow. Her, I mean, when you look at that movie, her skill level is obviously brilliant. She's now shooting her third feature, but no one had given her that first feature. Yeah. And sometimes you have to take a chance on someone who hasn't done something, but you see their talent. And that's something that's so important in this moment of talking about well, how do we make change? You know, it's it's also really important to talk about, like, we can talk about this stuff, but the action is everything. And you want to take the action of hiring, hiring mm. women. Not to mention, it was the most pleasant place to work with all women there. It was like, okay. everyone was very respectful. It was calm. Mm. There was... No this, drama. Yeah. It was just <laughs> no Which is exactly the opposite of what one might have thought. No cat fights. <laughs> no, it was very, very, yeah. very nice. They want to get yeah. in. Get in. Very get well done. Get, get home. it done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's open it up to our audience because we tend to hog and we're sorry. <laughs> okay, Brad. So um, I noticed that Mariana Polka had directed this and I've seen her other films, so I would love for you to talk a little bit about her. And I'd also, since you're not at the end, we don't see you at the end, I, did you have an idea of what you, uh, any backstory for your own character? as the how the her and uh don ended up or uh I and mean, did you guys talk about that since it's not a doc at the that's ending? egg too yeah <laughs> <laughs> we have talked a lot about where these characters ended up and it's it's interesting talking with people about it everyone wants to know that like but what happened to them which i love that they got very invested in these characters and we like the idea that you don't really know <laughs> because life is like that and and i'm sure that you know, she's had high highs and low lows and problems in her marriage and, you know, I mean, all sorts of things. But um, I think she's a nice person, that Karen. I hope she, you know, some good came to her. <laughs> <laughs> and as far as Mariana, could you talk about that? Mariana's amazing. Um, we, we felt lucky to find her, and she fell madly in love with the script and said, like, I want to... I want to do this. She has really mostly only done her own writing, right. and so we weren't certain if she would be interested. And she said, "I like, I've been waiting for the script all my life, basically, <laughs> and I wouldn't change a word." Which was, yeah. you know, it was kind of a match made in heaven. Mm. Go ahead. We only need one more state before the Equal Rights Amendment is passed, and in seeing this film, of course, I have the controversial opinion. But I see these women as betraying each other, as not nice to each other, and seeing why this is not happening. Can you speak about how this does affect women positively? Because not one of those women in the film is nice to the other one. I disagree. I think, I think that they have such a history with one another that they allow themselves to be vulnerable with one another. And you can only do that with a really close friend to say, I'm scared and I'm, I feel a little jealous and, and I'm confused. And you go through the process of them trying to figure that out about themselves and about each other and they help each other. And they are more open-minded at the end 
Uh, so I'm sad that that was your experience. But I, your character I betrays her. I'm sorry? I see. Your character betrays so her. I, 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 I hear that that's your experience of the film. My experience of the film is very different. So, And that's actually this moment that we're having, you and I, is what the movie's about. Is I respect, and I, it makes me sad I, as a filmmaker that you feel that way, but I hear you, and you are allowed, and I welcome that experience, even though it's 100% different from mine. And maybe that's what this moment, that's what this film for me is about, that's why I wanted to make this film, and that's what this moment in the world, in around the ERA is about, is saying, wow, I hear you. I am listening, I, I'm gonna try and wrap my head around your difference and, and what made you think that? And I'm happy if you're willing to share how I see it. Absolutely. Wow. Okay, Cynthia. Yeah. Um, first of all, I just want to say that it's in a very noisy film world where films are so busy, it was nice to just get down to a one room fucking elevator. Yeah. Three, yeah. Really, cool. really like be there with the characters and seeing like the complexity in your relationship and how like you, you just kept saying like what were they like in art school because you come in with all the other people and all the airs that you're supposed to have about where you're supposed to be and what it looks like to live like how you were living and you're coming with your choice of spouse <laughs> and from the world that you you know that more superficial world walking in and you start being in the stereotypes and bit by bit, scene by scene, all the stereotypes are kind of like put on the table and then picked apart. And you saw how everybody else around you, you can kind of let go of, but at the end, I actually disagree that the connection is still there. You revealed your truths to each other, but then like your character kind of just wasn't ready yet to make <coughs> whatever necessary statement she needed to make about hers, and just you were kind of just forced to basically deal with it, which I thought was the most vulnerable you were able to get inside the character constructs, you know, that you were given. So again, with like the fusion of the relationship and the, the acceptance, can you talk a little bit more about like, you know, how you were able to get behind 